Well, I'm gonna try to bale some hay. I don't know, on the upper side, if you watched the last video where we did the raking, this upper side's a little bit thinner, so I don't see why we couldn't, you know, at least bale over to there, get that whole section. Uh, I put the baler back together and cut all the twine on these bales that, you know, that this side didn't get tied. So this next bale that is in here, which this has slack in it from me pulling this up and messing with it, but this next bale here is started, so I'm just gonna let it push everything out and we'll go back through and rebale it. I'm really just crossing my fingers at this point because I have no idea if it's gonna work or not. Sharpen the knife on that side, you know, bent the arm a little bit, so it's, cause it was actually contacting the bill hook on the bottom really hard. So I don't know if that was maybe an issue, I'm not sure, but regardless, we gotta try and maybe get a jump on this and see what happens. Well, it sounds like the tractor's trying to die and shut off. I'm telling you. Anyway, it didn't even tie a knot that time. Didn't even try. Would you just turn off already if you're gonna shut off? My word. So I really don't know what happened on that one. Unless I didn't put something back together right. I don't know why that's loose. But that's kind of weird. But yeah, it didn't even, didn't even tie at all. So I don't know really what happened on that one. Everything looks like it's in back together completely. So I don't know why the bill hook wouldn't have spun. But I don't know for some reason. And it could have been a fluke thing because of this was really loose in here originally. That probably is what happened and it slipped right off of the, uh, it probably wasn't even on the bill hook actually. So that's probably what happened there. Um, so I'm not gonna count that as, you know, a complete strike because I think that's probably the problem. I had a huge loop there. So uh, I gotta cut this off and I'm probably gonna unload some of this and throw it in front of the baler and we'll start over and, you know, go from there and see what happens. There's that piece of twine that ripped out. And now that we're using poly twine, I really don't want that laying around the fields. But there's our knot. And they both are really nice and uniform. Knots look good. So I really, and it didn't, you know, obviously it wiped at that time. But I, again, I just, I don't know. I feel like our tension could be a little bit tighter, maybe. I don't know, we'll keep going. I am gonna grab a moisture test off of this one to see what it is. Well, it did it to me again. Hung up the knot. I don't get it. I literally have soon tried everything other than start replacing, you know, some of these other wear gears and stuff like that. Um, I, I loosened the bill hook tension a little bit, uh, just ever so slightly. See if maybe that helps. I don't really know. I've done so much. This side never gives me a fit, ever. And the loose bale that we pulled out, there was a spot in there that was kind of wet. So I think it's probably, majority of these bales are testing, you know, 9% but I think it's honestly in my best interest to just probably call it. Cause I know the winners over there are gonna be even worse cause they are much heavier, denser wind rows. These were small over here and it may have, maybe I just hit a wet spot, found a, I, I don't know, but I think it's in our best interest to just let this dry another day in the 90 degree sun 
and then we'll come tomorrow and we'll we'll probably flip it with the rake we could even ted it but i don't know we'll see what happens but i think tomorrow we obviously have to get it off the ground tomorrow saturday they want rain so tomorrow's our window i just i i really wish i could bail without having any problems and not have to worry about it and just zip around the field and you know go i just i do not understand why that keeps hanging up i literally have no idea it just baffles me well tomorrow is a new day it did tie here again i actually when i was pulling it out managed to scoop up some hay the te the tines were dragging i didn't even take it out of field position it's basically ready to go the pickup's still down but i ran the pto really slow and it was just on the verge where it had to tie again and no problem i i, I literally don't understand why it'll tie five six you know whatever random number and when I switched ta twines the first time, it did like 40 without having an issue at all. I, I don't get it. There's, I don't know if there's slack. I don't, I don't know. I'm soon gonna have to call somebody in because this is so frustrating. Well, day two, I hope this thing works now. I don't know. I made some adjustments on the twine box tension. Kind of tried filing them a little bit smoother flipped it and then tightened that i don't have time to weld the grooves and i made a phone call to a new holland dealer this morning and got their thoughts on everything and the stuff that they kind of told me that could be the problem really didn't make sense i i don't want to say that they're wrong but i don't i don't know i hate to say that they're wrong because they obviously they work on them all the time but it doesn't make sense that that would be my problem why the knot's hanging up. So I actually ran it through a couple test cycles with tension on the twine with a ratchet strap. And I don't know, I, it obviously knotted multiple times when I did it by hand, but it's sporadic. It doesn't always do it either. So uh, the one thing I did notice is the right side, which is the one that I'm having trouble with, is the knife arm, and they both seem like different knife arms and sweep arms. I'm not really sure, but the right one there seemed to just come like a little late, like a quarter inch to an eighth inch late. And I'm wondering if that is potentially the problem as to, you know, why that knot was hanging up because if it's a slightly late knife arm or sweeper arm the tension of the plunger or, and the bail and stuff's going to pull that tight on the bill hook and it won't be able to pull it off i don't know that's just my thought but we're about to find out because it's bailing time i flipped all the rows over with the rake re-raked everything we're ready to go i mean it's dry and we have to get it off today off the ground today It is about probably midnight by now. I did not get the whole field done. I, I wish I would have gotten more footage, but this baler has just been nothing but problems. We've been messing with it, trying to get this knotter, this right side knotter to work better, tie knots. It was tying wrong for some odd reason. And I just, I don't know. I We've literally tried so many different things and it's, I don't know. They want rain tomorrow. We did manage to get half the field done. Uh, friends came down. It was definitely a huge help because somebody could be back watching the knotters and then stop me as I'm bailing. So before it tore and anything like that, so we didn't have to go back and rebail. But we just had to keep stopping and so on and so forth. And it's just, 
it's tough. It really is. Hopefully I can get, you know, hopefully we got, we did some adjustments um, and bailed through a bunch of bales in here by hand and the knots are tying fine now. So tomorrow's another day. Hopefully I can beat the rain and hopefully the baler works and everything is kosher with it because I am really running out of options. Well, the baler, no good, still doesn't work. It's, you may be able to hear it, but it's pouring. I'm soaked. We were in the middle of baling. We had three of the good rows left, which was basically from the original field. I let the yard beside the house kind of grow into a hay field. So that, there was like maybe five, six rows there, wind rows, but they were real small and fine stuff. So that's not a huge loss. This is kind of where we're at so far. We managed to get the wagon full in here, kind of before it started pouring and we have all this stored so the pile doing kind of like a stepping stone pile up but a lot of the bales you know some of them are varying in lengths you know the banana it's not really doing any banana bales honestly i mean there it did some last night like here's one but i mean for the most part it's, it's doing okay that way and this got completely drenched so you know this will all need cleaned out and everything but i just i don't understand now that knot there is pretty good there are two different knife arms on here two different knives so i don't know if it's a problem with that i i'm really not sure what the deal is all i know is it's a problem and it's really causing grief over and over and over this one it didn't tie so I don't know what to say. It's, it's so frustrating because I cannot cut a field and bail it. I just, I don't know. I have, so many of us have put so much time and effort and me money into this baler for it to, you know, I can't understand how it's so complicated that we can't, you know, I just, no matter what we adjust, it doesn't, and now, it went from hanging the knot, which we assumed was basically the knot hanging. But here, I think it's actually, it was, it's not actually tying right. Part of the thread or the twine is slipping in the bill hook and it's tying the knot around the bill hook instead of outside of it. Now we're running into where it's just missing a tie all completely, not even tying it. I don't know. But we got a decent amount. I think the counter said about 100 bales yesterday uh before we started and it's at 154 so got about roughly 54 something like that anyway i'm sorry i didn't get a lot of footage mainly because we were fighting the baler so much and i knew knew that this rain was coming so I had no choice. I, we had to keep moving, we had to get it done. So I do apologize about that. Hopefully I can get this Baylor situation figured out. In the meantime, have a great day. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully I can get this working.